Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us here on Nile Cruise uh, from the Coptic Cathedral in Abbasiyah celebrating Christmas time. It's Ronald Assas and myself, Mohammed Abdurrahim. We'll be talking in this segment about the family house, which is a model for religious coexistence. Egypt really is the model for religious coexistence at large. Comprised of Muslim and Christian leaders and chaired by Al-Azhar Grand Imam and the Pope of the Coptic Orthodox Church, the family house was established in October of 2011. And now almost 10 years after the establishment of the family house, um, uh, it is uh, a senior Al-Azhar official is suggesting that it becomes a model to be copied in the rest of the Arab world. Uh, the question uh, of what it did achieve in Egypt becomes inevitable. And to know more about the family house, we are honored to, to be joined by Dr. Asma Azzini. Uh, she is uh, an official for, uh, uh, public, for relations and international cooperation at the Educational Development Center for Al-Azhar International Students. Thank you very much, Dr. Asma. Thank you. For Thank you. Dr. Asma, uh, it's a pleasure having you with us here on ILTV International, on Nile Cruise, of course, in a very special place here in Egypt on a very special event, of course, which is a Merry Christmas, of course, uh, uh, Dr. Asma. Uh, we're at the, uh, of course, Abbasaya Cathedral, which is one of the landmarks here in Egypt uh, when it comes to Copts, of course, that we all um, are wishing them a Merry Christmas, uh, not only in Egypt, but all over the world. Why was the family house established, doctor? The owner is mine. Thank you for having me today. It's our pleasure, of course. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Esme. Uh, the Egyptian family house was an, is an initiative uh, by the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, uh, which came after the incidents of uh, January, uh, t January uh, 2011 when the Grand Imam felt the responsibility of uh, religious leaders to keep the fabric of the Egyptian society. Uh, he was on a visit to the, the late Bob Shnoud II uh, after the incident of the two, uh, the, the one of the church, churches I remember. Alexandria? No, no, the two senates in Cairo here. Mm. Uh, he was visiting the Bob, Bob Shnoud. Mm. Uh, he uh, supposed, suggested the initiative of the Egyptian family house and actually it, the response of the Bob Shnoud was great. Um, and came out the initiative. Um, the, really, what the Egyptian uh, family house has done during these 10 years was very clear during the celebration, which was on the 11th of uh, last uh, November, to celebrate the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of the, the initiative. Uh, the celebration was attended by great Egyptian figures, ministers, and the and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar and Bob uh, Twadros II. Uh, actually, what, what, what have been met during these 10 years is unbelievable. Um, what happened in other Arab societies could, could be, and luckily could be copied in the Egyptian society. Alhamdulillah, Allah saved Egypt by having these uh, thoughtful and um, caring religious leaders like the Grand Imam and Bob. Uh, to address alhamdulillah um, uh, what have been uh, made uh, could be seen in different different activities uh, which is a uh, egyptian uh, family house has in uh, schools universities and different uh, during the different events through all the year what are the most remarkable achievements of the family house, uh, Dr. Asmi? If we are going to talk about uh, the, the most remarkable achievements of the, family, the Egyptian family house, I would talk about uh, taking most care of youth uh, in schools. Youth? Yes, youth, yes, in schools, in universities. Uh, the mutual visits between uh, religious leaders to Coherence the Masjid. Coherence between, yes. uh, between the, the Islam and the Christi Christians. Muslims and Christians, mm -hmm. the, the, mutual, the mutual visits, the cooperation. We have uh, regular visits of the clerics from, uh, uh, and priests from the church to the Masjid of Al-Azhar and, and vice versa, especially during the times of celebrations like the, the time we have yeah. now, yes, the Christmas time. Now, uh, Dr. Asma, we know the uh, family house, uh, as you mentioned, involves a lot of youth. Yes. So, uh, uh, in activities even that are not related to religion at all, like charity, like sports, yes, like art. So, could you talk to us more about s such act the significance of such activities that are in domains uh, 
uh, life domains again like sport or yeah. art or charity let me mention a very uh, remarkable example that El Azhar had during th this month uh, to to take care of uh, youth from different countries i'm going to talk about a very special uh, event that we had at El Azhar and unprecedented mm. uh, we at education development center had uh, Al Azhar World Cup for international students. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, which has contestants in different kind of sports, football, volleyball, uh, cricket. It's like Olympics. Yes, the World Cup. We had Al Azhar World Cup for youth. Yes, it was an event unprecedented. You couldn't imagine how the international students were happy. You cannot imagine the, the, the amount of, of effort exerted to make it something successful. Everyone was very eager. Why? Why youth? Youth is the the, the, the pillar of societies, is especially the Egyptian society. The majority of Egyptians yes. are youth. That's why True. both Al Azhar at, and the church are taking the most care of youth. They are the majority of Egyptians, and of course, for for, for all over the world, the youth are the, the most important part of society. If taking care of the set of yeah, your the very near future yes that are the future yes we are talking about the future okay doctor uh, family house managed of course as you mentioned at the beginning to put an end to a number of sectarian disp uh, disputes and to deal with the consequences of the terrorist attacks yes. what uh, was the latest dispute in which the family house uh, interfered uh, let's not talk about disputes especially, let's mm. talk about something very remarkable which was said during the celebration of the 10th anniversary. Please. The anniversary of the uh, family house? Yes, the 10th okay. anniversary of having How a, many years the minister been, uh, of uh, uh, the family house. 10 years. 10 years exactly. It was so the 10th anniversary, anniversary. 11th of November. 11th of November. Yes, okay. Marcus, the beginning so that is of that very soon. Yes, very soon and it was very big yeah, celebration. So it was established 11-11-2011, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remarkable date. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, very remarkable. Yeah. Okay, uh, the Minister of Law, uh, Mr. Omar uh, Marwan, was mm. attending the celebration. Uh, Minister of Justice. Yeah, Minister of Justice, so, sorry, uh, in the place of the Cap Minister of Cabinet. He said a very important statement about the. You mean instead initiative. of the Foreign Minister? Yes. Mustafa Badbouli? Yes. Okay. He was in place uh, giving the speech instead of him. Mm. Of the Prime Minister? Yeah, Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Yes. Okay. yes. Sorry. Go ahead, Dr. Essay. Go ahead. Because I heard you say the foreign minister. That's why I, I said the prime. She said the cabinet minister. And then I said, I wanted to. That's I want to. Yeah, no, you said the right thing. I was the head of the cabinet. Sorry. Uh, Go ahead, Dr. Okay. Essay. He said a very important statement about the, the Egyptian family house. He said that uh, this initiative was able to get rid of hatred among Egyptians. Uh, to, to plant uh, a, a, a true roots of understanding, coexistent, and this is a main concept the Grand Imam adheres to. He believes that the coexistence between Muslims and the Christians is the only solution for Egyptian society to remain stable. And this is another concept that uh, President uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi hold, beholds to. He believes that we are one, Egyptians are one. And, and I, I think that this is one of the main reasons why the Egyptian society managed to uh, survive till now. Yes, yes. Um, it was a very dangerous time, of course, uh, the, after the Arab Spring uh, 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 revolutions. Now, uh, Dr. Asma, uh, Family House organized, I'm talking about the common things here, yes. the, 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 the common ground. Uh, um, a family House organized several meetings for youths in different governorates across Egypt to clarify the similarities between Islam and Christianity. Again, so the searches for the similarities, the, the common grounds, your, your intake uh, on, on that. Yes. Um, I think the main concepts that uh, we all have, Muslims, regardless of our religions, we are humans. And the, the, we are human. Uh, human beings uh, need to live together. We need mutual understanding. We, we need coexistence, uh, respecting of the other, uh, knowing uh, to find a way out. We need to exist. It's not about uh, 
uh, having differences. After all, we share the same country, I the same future, yeah, the same exactly. possibilities. The same yes, the same <laughs> suffering. Yes, same, same everything. Yeah. We have the same future, yeah. so we need to coexist. We need to be together to to live as one. This is the main concept that the initiative tries uh, to to focus on. Okay, uh, Dr. Asma, could you tell us uh, about the steps taken in the popular level to promote the value of coexistence? Uh, yes, uh, uh, these steps could be seen in the media, having these meetings like in media and, and newspapers. Social media? Social media. Uh, in schools, as I told you before, we have this, uh, the, the different committees of the initiative, social committee, uh, economic, different uh, uh, parties of the initiative, which have regular visits to the places, to the clubs, to the schools, to the universities. And this is the main contribution that could keep the initiative alive. They, they spread the values of peace, tolerance, uh, accepting the other, um, and all the, the, the valuable values of both Muslims and Christians. The initiative is alive anyway in the hearts of yes, all yeah. Egyptians. Yes, yeah. Mohammed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is of course. alive. Uh, uh, it is a main us. priority to all of us. Yes, yes. it's yes. a wonderful yes. initiative. And uh, yes. of course, we hope uh, the family house, uh, Mohammed, um, grows more in it. Uh, um, sure. We need sure. to talk about it more in media and uh, for everybody to know more about the initiative and the importance of the initiative, uh, especially that we have a prime minister that attends uh, meetings. We have a minister Ministers. of justice that attends the meeting. Uh, he, he was on behalf of the prime yes. minister, yes. you mentioned. The uh, um, importance of the coexistence of the um, Christians and Muslims in Egypt and the unification of both uh, Let's never religions forget some will sure. always be the the, the unity of the Egyptian people and the identity of the Egyptian people as long let's as we never live forget under the directives of President Abdel Fattah yes. yes, yes, it is. And let's not forget very important thing that never happened in the future of Egyptians that we had the President Abdel Fattah Sisi attending the celebration of the Christmas. We mentioned this in this yeah. episode yeah. today. Something that unprecedented. Was when, as yeah. soon as he you cannot the imagine the effect that this visit have in the, on the heart of yes. all we mentioned Muslims and Christians. As, yes. We did mention yes. at the beginning of uh, this episode that as soon as President Abdel Fattah Sisi took the oath and became the president of Egypt, he popped into the church and it was a surprise. It surprised all Egyptians, uh, Coptics. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it touched uh, Muslims Believe before, me. B before, before the Christians because we were so happy that we had a president that we had to look up to and that was a role model and still is a role model and will always uh, stay on the right track and keep all the Egyptians on yes, the right true. track. Me as a Muslim, I was very proud we to have that night. Yeah. At home, I was a pro. I'm Egyptian. I'm, uh, I'm doing something so yes. special. And he popped it yes. in, the, this, yes. this in the same place. It was, it was not at the <laughs> new administra at yes. the administrative capital. It was here at the Labia yes. yes. Cathedral. Witnessed when the President Abdel Fattah Sisi <laughs> came in, and everybody was really stunned and astonished yeah. by his visit. And he was the first president of Egypt to do this, actually, yes. without anybody knowing. Well, I guess uh, there's no better note, uh, Rana, yes. uh, uh, to uh, than this one to end. Uh, um, our um, uh, discussion here. Unfortunately, the time is up. Dear viewers, on behalf of you, we thank you very much, Dr. Asma Zaini, official for um, uh, international cooperation at the Educational Development Center Al Azhar uh, University uh, for Al Azhar University international students. Thank you very much, Dr. Asma. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure. Happy New Year. Thank you. So, a short break, and then we'll come back and Rana conclude this uh, episode of. Nile Cruz. Don't go away, we'll be right back, dear viewers.